Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Conway Mayor Bart Castleberry. I'm here with Sheila Blunt from the Faulkner County Office of Emergency Management, Faulkner County Judge Jim Baker, and Keith Stevens with the Arkansas Game and Fish Commission. I'm gonna go ahead and start uh, today with a rumor that was circulated last night on Facebook. Uh, I'm gonna read from what I got on my Facebook, was that bad news was in Faulkner County, uh, that the lolly levee was breaking, and that water was seeping through the bottom, and the police who were assigned to watch this area were advised to run like the wind should it break. Uh, in the officer's defense, that's probably the, the message he had received. Around 10 o'clock last night, sometime before, I was given a, I, I received a phone call stating that the uh, conditions at Lolly were deteriorating. Mark Ledbetter and Sheila were both advised of this. Uh, they actually got the same phone call. We did exactly what we had been planning on doing. We responded uh, with our folks from police, fire, and Faulkner County OEM. We met with our folks that we already had down there, and we quickly determined that this information was false. But what I want you to know is that we did respond uh, as we had planned for. At this time, the river has not been increased any. Uh, as far as the elevation, it is still at 286, and the crest date is still Monday. What I want everyone to understand is we are monitoring the levee 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The levee is doing exactly what it is supposed to be doing at this time. There is some water seepage, uh, which is normal. What you need to know about water seepage on the levee is that the water is clear. As long as there's no debris in it, this is considered a normal part of what's going on out there. What I don't want folks to misunderstand is that, yes, this is a very serious situation. Uh, this is a historic flood. We really don't know what to expect, but we are monitoring it. The levee is doing what it's supposed to be doing right now. Should that change, and it can change, but should it change, we have several ways of notification. One, we've already advised you to uh, sign up for the code red through the Faulkner County Office of Emergency Management. There's also a way you can set your phone uh, for a civil alert. Ms. Ballot will explain that to you shortly. We will also go through the National Weather Service, and if it is after 9 p.m. at night, we will sound the storm sirens in that part of Conway. But let me reiterate and repeat myself. Yes, there is seepage. Yes, it is normal. The water is still well below the top of the levee and it is doing what it is designed to do, but that could change. We will not consider this event to be passed until the water is off of the levee and we will continue to monitor it seven days a week, 24 hours a day until this is passed. At this time, Faulkner County Judge Jim Baker will speak to the county. For the county part of it right now, and also all the public, we have sandbags available for you to use. At, pick them up at Beaver Fort Fire Station right off 65, and we've got an adequate supply filled by over 200 volunteers. Folks, this is the biggest flood we've ever seen. In arrival, the 27 flood, none of us remember. I advise you that uh, to take precautions in low-lying areas, especially along the Kedron watershed and around Lake Conway. We are doing everything we can to move forward and keep folks safe, but this is Mother Nature in control. We've got a lot of partners. The core right now is the one we look to and they've been accurate so far. So the projection, the crest, we have no question, but to take it for real, it's 286. Again, if you're in any danger of a low line area, please relocate for your health, your life, and all. Take, take this serious. Thank you. I'm Keith Stevens uh, with the Arkansas Game and Fish Commission, and I'll address uh, issues with Lake Conway. Uh, right now, the lake is at uh, 263, which is the normal pool, um, but it is rising. Water is coming over the dam, uh, coming back in from the Arkansas River. We were able to lower it about a foot uh, before uh, the water got up to the dam, and uh, that's helped somewhat, so don't be complacent. Um, it's going to get worse. Um, we expect the water to come in and um, the areas that have flooded in the past 
uh, will probably flood again and maybe other areas. We're kind of in the uncharted territory because we've never seen anything like this. Um, we've got some forecast, uh, weather forecasts that call for three plus inches of rain next week. So uh, th that could just uh, be catastrophic uh, if we've got rain coming in from all the watersheds and, and the river at the same time. Uh, right now, um, we don't have any uh, floods out there. We don't want anybody to get complacent uh, on the lake because um, it, it, it's slowly coming up, um, but it will get faster and uh, could be a real event later on uh, when, the, when the river crests next week. Uh, if you've got any questions on Lake Conway, please call our fisheries office in Mayflower. It's 501-470-3309. Thank you. Hi, I'm Sheila Balot with the Faulkner County Office of Emergency Management, and I just wanted to remind our residents, if you've not signed up for the Code Red Emergency Alerts, you can do that on our website at www.oem911.net. I would also encourage you to check your phones and make sure that your government alerts are turned on. You can do that by going to your settings, then your notifications, and then down at the very bottom, you'll have your government alerts. If we did have an emergency that we needed to send out in a very quick time, um, we would do that through the National Weather Service on those civil alerts. So please make sure those are turned on on your phone. We have approximately 20 roads closed already that I want to tell you those. Uh, there are numerous, numerous homes taking on water at this time. That's gonna only get worse and add to the road closures. I would like to address a couple more things. One, uh, there's been some question about Tucker Creek and the river flowing back into Tucker Creek. What you need to understand about Tucker Creek is it's gated. Those gates are closed, so that will keep the water in the river flowing back into Tucker Creek. Uh, so really the levee is, is our greatest concern at this time. As you're all aware, there is a possibility of some heavy rain in the Conway area next week. We're going to wait till we get a little bit closer on those forecasts. And then at that time, we will be advising you as to our plans for the areas along Tucker Creek as well as East Conway for those rain events. Thank you.